Welcome, this is the casework for a 15.6 inch Libra hardware laptop. The casework is currently 3D printed, however it is designed to be injection molded. Each of the parts, as you can see, is separate so that they can be printed on a Mendel 90 or other, <laughs> other printer that has only a 200 by 200 uh, millimeter bed. We've got a compartment here for the main PCB. There is a CPU card which goes into here. All right, so this is an upgradable laptop. Uh, the CPU card will contain memory, NAND flash, and the processor. And enough interfaces for to count, connect with the screen, uh, a couple of the USB ports, uh, a micro SD card slot, and there will be a USB audio port on here. A second PCB goes underneath here which deals with the keyboard connector, the uh, LCD screen underneath a capacitive touch panel so you'd be able to use this as a trackpad but also to be able to do pinch and zoom, icons will be displayed underneath, scroll bars, animations, anything else that would be user controllable. These areas here will be filled in with bamboo panels. Um, that's not just to save materials, it's so that it's a renewable source um, and lightweight and it kind of look, look good. So again, bamboo panel here, another big one on the back here, another big one on the back here. This entire right hand side will be filled with a battery that comes from an electric bike, believe it or not. It's a 10 amp hour, so it's like 40 watt hours or 7, 37 uh, watt hours, which is a heck of a lot. Um, the screen is 13, 1366 by 768 and it's 15.6 inch. I've yet to do these, that's be the next phase, but you can see it's huge. It's a full size keyboard uh, with number pad. Um, now there is, there are two Super, super U cards um, currently available. Um, one is uh, uh, one is the, an all winner A20 dual, car, dual processor, it's an ARM Cortex. Uh, A7, uh, two gigabytes of memory will be connected to that. Um, and the next one that we'll be doing will be FSF endorsable, Free Software Foundation endorsable. They respect your freedom. Think so. You will be able to boot right from the source, from the source code, fully available from startup all the way to the operating system. That is not the same as the Intel laptops, including the Libra ones which unfortunately have a binary blob that Intel will not provide the source code for. <sighs> anyway, so um, yeah, uh, lots of compromises on this. Um, there's a, it's the way it goes because this is not a, you know, 30 watt processors. This is like two and a half watt processors. So um, this compartment here will be for USB drives. Now there's going to be two internal USBs, they'll be full size, right, sticking out into this compartment where you'll be able to take the is it user accessible compartment there. Again, panel, you know, bamboo panel on there. And the third one will be external USB, full USB port will be external there. So it'll be able to plug in uh, keyboard, mouse, uh, uh, USB hub for multiple devices. So these two you'll be able to put in USB memory sticks, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, um, 3G, LTE, whatever you want. Um, but it will be internal, all right? And that's big enough and and, and fat enough to be able to fit um, uh, 3G, uh, 3G and USB Wi-Fi sticks. Um, there will be along here will be a power power PCB I was chant deals with the battery that goes in that area there um, and a uh, power jack and a reset switch on the side so yeah um, yeah <laughs> it's fantastic I think I'm just uh, you know I, I, it's been a lot of work um, already but it's been absolutely fantastic again the source code for all of these parts these 3d printed parts are available now not like the pie top where they will be available oh when we eventually you know get round to doing it and maybe you'll be able to download as a source code etc the 3d 3d parts 
source code are available now under the GPL V3, GPL V3 Plus. So you can help if you want to uh, modify this or take it in your own direction as you so choose. Um, one modification that might want somebody might wish to help with perhaps would be to make a battery compartment so that this can be a user removable swappable compartment that would be fantastic all right thank you very much